A Louisiana board has voted to pardon Homer Plessy, whose decision to sit in a whites-only railroad car to protest discrimination led to the U.S. Supreme Court's 1896 separate but equal ruling affirming state segregation laws, according to the AP. Now, the State Board of Pardons unanimously uh, voted to clear the Creole man's record of a conviction. Now it goes to Governor John Bell Edwards, who has the final say over the pardon. Now, the Plessy versus Ferguson decision cemented racial segregation for another half century, justifying whites-only spaces in trains, buses, hotels, theaters, schools, and other public accommodations. Now, that was until the Supreme Court unanimously overruled it with their Brown versus the Board of Education decision in 1954. That decision led to the widespread desegregation of schools and the eventual stripping away of the Jim Crow laws that discriminated against black citizens. Uh, great news. Um, I hope the governor does sign the bill. But, you know, as we talked about the other stories um, previously, you know, things um, have changed, but some things are staying the same. And that's why you have organizations like the NAACP, the Urban League, the National Council of Negro Women, and so many others, Black Voters Matter. They're still on the front line pushing because we still have a long way to go.